Hello everybody, it's Strategist Primus, and I'm back with another episode of the Heathen Horde. Jorvik is, uh, well, with yet another king, and, uh, finding a bit of a problem here. 16,000 Anglo-Saxons want to take back, well, Poland, apparently. But, uh, we know that that 16,000 murder blob will eventually turn back and, uh, come for me. Directly, not indirectly. Not in some piece of Poland I couldn't care less about. Because Vassal's taking things over. Come on, guys. I'm going to call up all the men. Get them on boats and such, and get them over. Everybody on a boat, and everybody just get here. I'm not going to pay for mercs on this one, because I don't think I need them. At least not yet. Good news is we have a buttload of men, and they are just thrashing themselves against... Northampton? Yeah, Northampton. Thought it was that. Get together. Come on. Another Yvaring has been murdered as the Yinglings have taken over in the Isles. Gee, interesting. Looks like the other Norsemen are having problems hanging on to what is theirs. we won't end up the same way. Ah, there we go. Got him to attack us. That will do us quite well. Come on now. There we go. Smash him up. The problem with these adventurers is they will get quite a lot of men in this mod, and uh, they don't have any land to siege. So... Getting war score on them is difficult. You need to just keep fighting them. As we take a long autosave, which concerned me for a minute there. Alright, let's get them in Northampton. That low morale. That few men, well, comparatively few, should be able to squish them. Not quite. Gonna have to do it again. Lucky us. Somerset? Maybe Devon. No, he's going to Wales. Why do they always go to Wales? That Duke of Holland, who's my father in law, by the way, managed to get himself murdered, and for once we didn't do it. That's interesting. Um, we could try to push a claim if we ever get to not be threatening. Yeah, like that will happen. Um, so here we go. Push him back. There we go. Defensive packs opposing the Carlins have stopped because he's dead. The Carlinian Empire is still hanging on. Even with a dude with a silly name as Mark Ward. Oh, good. We have him. We've captured him. We can do a couple of different things with him. One, we can, uh... Just execute him. We could ransom him and get 145 gold. Or we can do this, go over here, enforce demands. We can banish him and get all 279 gold. That being said, I don't like anybody with his claims being allowed to exist. And at 46, he might reproduce. So, yeah, we're just gonna kill him. Need to. Not worth the risk. Too dangerous to live. 
that sort of thing. We're gonna call the army down, and we're going to hopefully make some more money. Okay. Moon's becoming a very interesting place over here in Eastern Europe. I'm just going to pan out a moment, let everyone see what crazy place the world is. Kivy and Rush have done decently well, though not nearly as well as Bulgaria, which just seems content to eat the entirety of this piece of the continent. Strangely enough, the Karunovna have gone around the Black Sea instead of into Bulgaria. Uh, I can't control the AI, you know. But they have managed to take Crimea. Interesting. Seem to be holding off pretty well against the Horse Lords. Hmm. Um, Chalcedonianism is having a bit of a uh, epidemic with uh, all sorts of heretics peoples. The splat by us is our uh, monothocytes. There's some Slavs in the middle. There's some Pogromists. More Pogromists. Pulsions, the usual. And, of course, Islam is still sitting in Iberia like it always does in this game. Well, on this earliest start date. Well, sometimes I have seen it. Iberian Reconquista to go early. It's just infrequent. Well, he's gonna get himself killed. We have 540 gold. Maybe this time we won't do something as stupid as dueling a rival over. Nothing really. Uh, measles. Measles are never good. It's been my experience that you want to shut that gate immediately. Alrighty. I apparently have made friends with this practical commoner. And have methods to see that she's no longer a commoner. I'm going to focus on heavy foot. Because I might not have as many of them, but they're certainly more useful than the light foot. For once, the Pagan Defensive we have hacked against me is much longer than the Christian Defensive Pact. Probably because of all the uh, pushing my underlings have been doing in the Baltic. Against other Pagans. Slavs, mostly. Well, Constantinian rejecting or accepting Slavs. And a couple... Uh, I don't think we actually hit the range of Baltic Baltic. It's interesting over there. It's been a few years, 13-ish since we started these uh, last couple of parts. Ah, excellent! The Carl engines are beginning to shatter a little, as this guy has gone off and broken off into East Francia, whereas this dude still claims to be Carl Engine Empire Emperor, Emperor, not just the Empire. Uh, he's attacking the other one. Good. They're infighting. This could be our chance to be a bit of a problem. Or it would be if we weren't threatening. Thanks, developers. I love the, the threatening <sighs> mechanics. They're just so wonderful. Clearly the best part of the game. Just waiting around and going, why, God. Okay. Enough complaining. It's not that bad after all. Our underlings can still slowly advance, and through them we have eaten quite a bit of the British Isles. Good. The court faction loves us a little more. That's a monothite. Uprising. Lucky us. Trying to get a good night's sleep. Oh, uh, no, it's the 
open the gates during the measles. Here we go. Oh boy. Of course, another Anglo Saxon liberation revolt. Or is it this time? Great. I love Anglo Saxon liberation revolts, they always end so well. They get the idea by this point. That should be enough. Stick them all together. Get her more to read fertility. Because we need heirs and we need them badly. Mine's beginning to run out on us. With all this measles spreading around, I don't want to really uh, beat men myself at the moment. Until we're out of the measles, measles zone, and then in which case I want to lead as many men as possible. I say as the measles zone gets larger. Great. Chase them. Chase them on down. Problem with having the giant murder blob, it moves slow. But, we managed to corner them and probably cut them to pieces. Pretty much. I had a sneaking suspicion that you go to Galway, and we won. Huzzah. We'll deal with him later. Make sure that's flat terrain. And call down the men. Lucky us. We managed to win the fourth. English Liberation Revolt, much like the third. We finally lost our tyranny from the last time, which is difficult. So I might be um, less violent than this once. Mm. At the same time, I kind of want to spread Norse culture around, because... Actually managed to click the right button. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven Norse counties out of all of them. And uh, that's a rather small amount. We might want to fix that. Just because we are. A minority at the moment, so let's try to get Lincoln at least. And Lincoln converts. It's all worth it. Even the tyranny. Come on, out of My cousin's still in jail. Still in jail. Come on, dude. Got across 600 gold pretty soon. And this dude's bad mouthing me. I could have him whacked any day. I'm not about that just yet. Not yet. Give it a little while longer. Scotland appears to be gone. Lucky us. Ah, well. We're the only real kingdom to your title around here. Other kingdom empire tiers just having to hold land here. Or one based here. 
I will point her as the seeress. And probably take her as concubine, just because I'm about to badly need a lot of heirs quickly, because I believe we're running out of the family line. I have 14 living members. We're not about to run out anytime soon, but at the same time, I just don't feel right without a couple of decent heirs that are at least younger than me. This one's older than me. Not good. Oh boy, now the Carlingians have gotten back together and are having another revolt. Don't you love it? You should be falling apart pretty soon. I'm gonna go for having a son as an ambition. Because I could use the extra fertility. Oh, yeah, please. Please get better at that. Of course. Why would that actually happen? Oh, the good news is we have managed to beat out the Regency, and the measles hasn't killed us. Uh, just prepare to blot them all. 50 gold. I'll take 50 gold. 25 gold isn't quite worth my time. Blots do cost money. That is a problem. Ransom on wall. As much as I love blotting people, we need money to become Emperor. Thank you all for watching. The series has gone on for quite some time now. There we go. She's getting a bit better. Carl engines are still holding on, man. I mean, I've seen them go on for a while, but. Eef. Sometimes I get excited here. Oh, great. The dude who used to hold Derby is now declaring war. He was planning to come after us. Why? But for Moray? I couldn't care less about Moray. Couldn't care less. I mean, I could still fight a dude for the ratings, but like... Come on. It's more I don't care. Moved on to better things these days. Huh. Well, I'm gonna go join these holy wars to stop spreading Christianity into my sphere of influence up there. There's no mechanics for sphere of influence, I just regard it as my sphere of influence. Oh, there's sort of mechanics for sphere of influence, I could make them my tributary, but not now. There we go, going off to Galway. That should be more than enough. Half doing this because it gets us out of the measles zone. Honest. Wife wants to be put on the council. Sadly, not happening. I will, however, name her regent. There we go. That should keep her quiet for a little while. Boom, 100% war score. Hopefully, it'll take a 
this out. Oh, I can create Wessex now. That makes me happy. I won't do that yet, but it's a thing to remember. Still won't take vassalization. Really. Nice, the others. They're being stubborn. Call down all the men. And back to speeding along. Uh, not interested. As my vassals start going after us. Doing the thing again. East Frankie here's being a problem. It's Augustine Carling. So many Carlings. So little time. My heir is my uncle. I thought it was the case this whole time. That was my cousin, now it's my uncle. My cousin is peer two of died in battle. I sense a theme. As we read here at the Earl of Lancaster. <laughs> Lucky us. My mother has died. Some old woman just died of self-inflicted wounds. That's always a great sign. He's still going at it. Oh, now he's finally at peace, so I can demand tribute out of him. There we go. 25-3 money right there. Where else can I demand tribute? Yes, you, the Carl Engines. No, I can't do that. Where are the Irish? Really? I can't? Come on. Don't carry. Really? This is fishy. Ah. Huh. Guy in my prison has formed the defense pact against me. Strange. It's almost like I already took care of that problem. He is no more. He is no way he's gonna pay me. Nah, he can sit there. I don't care. No oh, pieces have fallen off the Carlingian Empire. Just the wrong pieces so far. Very interesting, no doubt. However, not very helpful for us yet. We're just waiting on this 15-year-old brother-in-law of mine to uh, fall off, and he's just not doing it yet. The Machians founded a holy order. Wow. Very rarely see this one. The aid of the Kagan Kuvadid of Kursk. Kursk? I have no idea. A group of fanatics, peasants, and madmen have now banded together to create their own army. They call themselves the Army of the Light. Huh. That's gonna be a problem. Luckily, it's way the hell over there. As Christianity just looks to be falling apart. Well, Chalcedonianism at least. We're doing 
decent at the conversion game. It's just not going as fast as I'd like to. Never does. That being said, we're at 880 money, and we are king in our own right now. Having fought off a couple of rebellions, interfered in a uh, border war, and generally uh, sat around making money. I promise in the next couple of episodes, we will wrap up the series, hopefully as emperors of Jorvik. I think that will be the right sort of note to end on. Thank you all for watching. If you've liked this content, please share, like, subscribe, however you feel fits best. Thank you all very much. I will see you in the next one.